Had to make a trip today, so we came down here. And I am at a place called Mission Barbecue. Now, yeah, 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 some of you are going, Eric, hey, Fat Daddy, it's a chain. Yeah, but it's okay. It's a chain that's a worthwhile chain. These guys support veterans and veterans charities and veterans causes, and I'm all for that. So I came in here, I wanted to get some barbecue, and, uh, you know, Fat Daddy's all for some barbecue. And I'm already eating because you can't wait. Now, look, we got a lot to cover today because... I got two meats, one side, fresh brewed sweet tea, and they've got seven sauces on the table. And we're not gonna try all seven because a couple of them have the word heat on it. And y'all know me and heat. Now, what did I get? First of all, I got french fries. Fresh cut french fries. Got some sort of seasoning on them. They were really good. Just dry, they're really good. We'll put some barbecue sauce with them in there. I got brisket that I can barely pick up without it falling apart. But look at this pull. Look at this pull. Look, look, look. We got more. And then I got something different. I was going to get the pulled pork. I thought about some ribs. But then people, 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 people. Look at this. Smoked turkey. Turkey. Let's eat. Now, look, I'm gonna try everything dry first. I've already tried the fries. Brisket. That's as tender as tender can be. You get full beef flavor. It just melts, man. Oh gosh, that's so good. Oh, wow. You get the smoke, you get the beef. Did I, did I show you the pole? Look at that. There are paper towels on the table, but I'll get dirt about them. Oh, God, that biscuit's good. I don't need to put any sauce on it. Turkey. Let's see if there's a pole on the turkey. There's a pole on the turkey. This is a cross between really good deli turkey, a perfect Thanksgiving turkey, and a deep fried turkey. I know, I just confused the crap out of all of it. But that's how good it is. Holy crap. Okay, take a look at these sauces real quick. of them in the thing, plus that vinegar thing, we're not going to try the vinegar. I can tell you right now, I'm not going to like the vinegar. I do not like vinegar based, uh, we call this in barbecue sauce. It's not happening. All right. I'm typically a sucker for Memphis style sauce. This is the Memphis Belle. Memphis is sweet. She's got Elvis, Foggy Banks of the Mississippi, smoky and sweet. Um, we'll put her on the turkey. 
This is the Smoky Sweet Memphis Bell. That's what I think of when I think barbecue sauce. Punch is sweet, a little bit of smoke on the back end. That's a good barbecue sauce. And it goes really good with the turkey. Hold on. Let's try to break it too. All right, this is the front runner. Of course, it's the only one we tried so far. Now, this one's called the Smoky Mountain. Smoky Mountain. Let's see, it says smoldering with flavor. Handcrafted back road. Uh, something about real mountain men not sharing the secret recipe. Don't tell them, just enjoy. All right, well, this is got the state of West Virginia on it. You know how much we love West Virginia. So. Put on turkey first. Now it's got that bright maroonish color. You get the ketchup right off the bat. There's um, what's that flavor? Definitely some molasses in there. Mm. There's not much smoke in it. We put some on the brisket. This is really good. Super sweet. I like the Memphis better because of the smoke. All right, here we go. Texas twang. Uh, everything's bigger in Texas. Um, wide open for hearty briskets, beef, ribs, and ribeye. Um, this is Worcestershire A1 kind of a concept. Now, I love some A1 sauce. Now, this will probably be weird because you're not supposed to put A1 of Worcestershire on turkey. No, it doesn't match turkey. Now, it's not a bad sauce. Ooh, black pepper. That's what's in there. I'm drinking sweet tea. They brew their own. Oh, it's worth the trip alone to come get the tea. All right, still trying the Texas twang. Yeah, all right, so tone down on the sweet, up on the smoky, pepper. That's what it is. This one's smoky with a little bit of pepper back tank. That's where you get the twang. It's a good sauce. Definitely meant for beef. It would go better on a grilled piece of meat. So they have grilled ribeyes here. They have uh, uh, sausages. They go good on sausages. It's just not what's on my platter. So I'm sticking with the Memphis. That's the number one for the barbecue. Now we're gonna turn it around. Now, this is called Tupelo Honey Heat. Because I love you people, I will try it. Um, sweet with Mississippi summer heat. Now, look, I've been to Mississippi in the summer. There is nothing easy about Mississippi summer heat. It's hotter than seven whatevers. Um, uh, Satan went to Mississippi in the summer one time, told him to turn the air conditioner on. So, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to regret this immediately. Here we go, on some turkey. Oh God, it's bright red like hot sauce. Here we go. Yep, it's hot. <clears throat> now, dude, there's a lot of honey to it. Tea, the tea cools it though, but if you want a warm pepper, uh, like, like cayenne hot sauce, barbecue sauce, this is your stuff. That's a Tupelo honey. It's not my cup of tea. We've talked about that before. We're just going to put that back. <laughs> I'm not even going to put it on the brisket. All right, this is called the Baby Barbecue Sauce. Adam Cole's favorite. AEW fans, you'll get that. This one is inspired by uh, the beets and crab boils of Eastern Maryland. It's got some Old Bay to it. I like Old Bay. I like seafood. Um, you know what? I'm going to put this on a French fry. Why? Because you get potatoes in uh, uh, those, those seafood bowls. 
got a good color. You smell the old bay. Oh, old bay is the right word. Old bay. It's good. It's a good sauce. Um, it's better on like the, uh, the potatoes than the meat. I think this would go real well with shrimp. Put it on some shrimp and then pour all the shrimp. No, not my barbecue cup of tea. Now, one more that I think may give a run here for the money. This is called KC Classic. Boy, that pepper is still kicking. Okay. Multiple layers of flavor. Traditional KC sauce. Now look, KC and Memphis have always been my beat ups here. Somewhere on Blackjack Slim right now is laughing because he thinks KC is the greatest, but he's a Patrick Mahomes fan. But I'm telling you right now, I know it's two different sports, but John Morant is the boy. KC, classic, here we go. Uh, we're gonna put it on turkey. Now it's got that bright red color, kind of like that Smoky Mountain we saw a second ago. Oh God, no. Oh, bad. Oh. I'm sorry. <clears throat> that one is not very good. That one is like ketchupy, tomatoey, vinegary. Uh -uh. No. There it is, boys. Memphis Bell. When in doubt, always go to Memphis. Uh, I'll give Memphis one. I'll give Smoky Mountain two. Um, if you want a third, I think three is the Texas Swing. So this entire side of the chart is is it. I think, I think the whole other side is just not meant for me. But it may be all your favorites. Come here and try all six of them. All seven, excuse me. You might be into that vinegar. Oh, I haven't mentioned the fresh brew tea is amazing. They also have fresh brew lemonade. Make it on a Palmer. You can help yourself over there. Um, yeah. Um, so, let me do this again. Look at that. It's not barbecue if you don't get some on you. Oh, God, that is so good. Okay, look. Here's the deal. Ten. I'm a ten. Okay, that was the worst thing I've done since I sang. But it's still kind of funny. <laughs> Brisket to 10. Turkey. A tick on the dry side. I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a 9. I tell you, put some sauce on. There's 10. Fresh seasoned fries. But I hate toss the dice. They're fantastic. There's one more thing on this plate we haven't talked about. Every plate comes with square cornbread. I don't even know why. But I'm a southern boy. I'm not going to turn down cornbread. Here's where I anger half the uh, population that watches my show. This is sweet cornbread. It has sugar in it. And it's wonderful. This is how I like my cornbread. It tastes like homemade jiffy. And that's how I like it. It's wonderful. It's a 10. If you don't like that, then save your piece and give it to me. fantastic barbecue. Um, this place is awesome. They greet every person that walks through the door. 
They tell everybody who leaves, fine, thank you. They uh, have great music. The decor is all military based. They got some great pictures. They got some great tributes. They got jerseys with all the military academies up on the wall. Love that. 